We are here now, teaching, learning, serving. With your efforts and help, Medina Institute. From a vision, today has become a reality. At last, an established platform for our entire community, allowing religion to become a way of life in a modern context. We are here now. Welcome to Medina Institute. When we set up the Institute, uh, our aim was to make this place not just a place uh, of prayer or education, but make it a place where people from all walks of life, people of all faiths, people of no faith, everybody can come together in a safe space and benefit from this place. It's a buzzing hub of neighborhood activities. We've got uh, things for from, you know, three-year-old to 70 plus year olds. We've been able to bring people together, people of different interests, people of different ages, people of different inclinations, and try to provide uh, the community and the wider community uh, with a platform to cater for their social, academic, and spiritual needs. One of the key features of our offerings is the Friday Congregational Gathering which happens at 8 o'clock on Fridays for brothers in the zone and for sisters in the upstairs hall. Prophet <laughs> companions, they used to say poetry in the, in the prophetic masjid, right? As in the authentic hadith. So sometimes we use poetry, sometimes we Obviously, we use the first, the foremost, the Quran, then the authentic Sunnah. Then we use things like La ilaha illallah, like Astaghfirullah. At the moment, we have about 150 people uh, coming for this gathering on a weekly basis. We provide food uh, for the body, we provide food for the soul, and we have a, a beautiful social evening. In this world, we remember everything. and and we loan and lend our body, mind and heart to the dunya, to the world in everything so that we're so exhausted but we're not willing to give uh, much to Allah Ta'ala. So we're trying to open that avenue and, and, and do so. Under our educational wing, we have a number of uh, projects running all on the Medina Institute. We have the uh, Quran Academy running, for example, which is about giving kids that necessary education from an early age. We have the Sunday School, but it's about learning in, uh, through interactive means. Sunday School was set up uh, to provide Islamic education for the children in our community. So we do this through three aspects. And the first one is connecting with the Quran. We try to give each child a personal experience with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And secondly, it's through character building where we look at each character. So we look at, for example, honesty, integrity, keeping your promises. And children will discuss, they'll reflect, they'll do role plays on, on, this, on this character. And the third thing is creativity. We think out of the box and think of different strategies that we can use to help meet our objectives. So whenever we teach children about kindness, we always relate it back to the Sunnah. We're also teaching them principles that are compatible with our ethical values. We've been hearing people say, there's nothing for our kids. There's nothing for us to do. All the, the greenery has been converted to houses. There's no social clubs left. There's no youth clubs left. What we've tried to do over time is listen to people and try to address those problems. Really, we just teach them basics, really, because some of them are really young. The younger ones especially, we're just teaching them basic boxing skills and the ones that are a bit older, we're teaching them some more advanced skills really. And it's just to help them get fit and, you know, a bit of self-defence and that's it really. We teach children uh, different forms of martial arts, that's what we call it, freestyle. Uh, we try to develop their physical health, their mental, and academics because there is 
uh, evidence to prove that martial arts uh, supports them with their academics. The purpose of all these uh, projects is to firstly provide kids uh, something beneficial to do in a safe space where they can come, make new friends, uh, learn new skills, build their confidence. We have a youth club running. I like coming to the youth club because it's always like fun and games and we all have, always have different activities like scoobies or arts and crafts or sometimes we made slides and that turned out to be a fail but it was really really fun. This week we're making a pizza. We're all like helping to put the toppings on, our favourite toppings, looking at like putting it in the oven. We've baked cakes and uh, we play on the Xbox a lot. Through our educational institute, we have an Usuluddin program that's running for adults. The purpose of the of Medina Usul's program is number one, it's Usul means fundamentals or foundation of the faith. Do we understand the difference between validity and I'm gonna put technical validity and acceptability? I think it's important to empower the local youth in, in, in the UK rather than uh, leave them exposed to all kinds of currents that are out there. Through our Planet Mercy operations, we've basically helped people in any way that they've needed assistance. My name is Lisa and I'm the director for Planet Mercy UK. We wanted to focus on the key issues that we thought matter to us the most and that's how we came up with our five core areas of service. So they include um, food poverty, refugee support, community cohesion, youth enrichment and mental health. We've got three food kitchens a month, so we previously did one in Rochdale and one at the Oldham Baptist Church. We now have our third one here at the Masjid, so we have three a month now, so we've expanded that service since, since we've been here in the last year. And the whole purpose of these initiatives is basically to, to benefit humanity. So if somebody is needy, we, we try and help them with their need, because at the end of the day, uh, you know, our, our religion, being Muslim, is not just a, a theoretical religion, it's about practicality. It's about living what you believe in, and that's what Planet Mercy is about. It's about love, mercy, compassion, and it's about giving. So one of our latest projects that we've launched here is uh, Medina Seeds Nursery. The reason why we launched this project was that we saw a theme developing we realized that families were becoming attached to the center, which was one of the purposes that we, we intended for this place, i.e. a hub. So people were becoming attached. So we realized that uh, we need to take a step back and we need to make this place a place that starts at the roots. My name is Mesrit Rasul and I'm the early years manager for Medina Seeds Nursery. There is a big interest in Medina Seeds Nursery because we are following the Sunnah of the Prophet and we're using British values. With each activity we're trying to incorporate Sunnah and Duas. Uh, so that's the, um, the base and the foundation and the ethos of the nursery. Our staff are all very, very qualified. So we have an early years teacher on board. We have an EYT as a room leader on board. We have an SEN coordinator that we've taken on beforehand. I'm a teacher of the deaf, working for Oldham Council's hearing impairment team, and I work with um, children across the authority. I think it's a fantastic nursery. It's only just opened. I think it's got wonderful facilities. The vision is for our children to grow and um, expand in their knowledge and have a really good foundation. Alhamdulillah, we've come a long way in a short space of time. Uh, in a year, we've, we've set up so many services, we've delivered so many services, and the place and its activities are growing and growing day by day. We have achieved a lot in, the, in our first year. Uh, we've built up our curriculum. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, a, a good intake. Uh, but we want to be better. So we're always looking for people who share the vision, who want to make a difference to their community and society and who want to leave a legacy because that's what we're trying to do, leave a legacy for the upcoming generations. Any service that anybody in the community requires, they can come to, they can come to the masjid and, it'll be, and it's like a one-stop shop for 
anything that they, they need. Where the human being is allowed to sort of reach their top, their highest potential by, again, where they arrive at illumination, at loving God and loving people. Over this course of the year, there are many people in the front line and in the background that have made this happen. People who have donated financially, people who have given their time, people who have run the services, people who have given us ideas. I want to take this opportunity on this one year anniversary to thank all those people from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of Sheikh Ninui and behalf of Medina Institute. And this goes to show that when people come together in a common cause and all do their bits, then we can achieve great things. And I think, alhamdulillah, this Medina Institute and Masjid Community Hub is a reflection of all that coming together. So a message to all seekers of guidance. Our doors are wide open. After your help and contribution, allow us to thank you with what you believed in. Because now, it's time for us to give. All that we need from you is to walk in. Thank you for allowing us to serve.